everybody. Let me get my stuff together. Okay, okay, mom. Um, okay, so we're in the car and we were looking at houses, trying to find somewhere for me to rent. Trying to find somewhere for me to rent. I'm sorry, I get the phone call. And um, I just saw the funniest thing. Y'all know me. If I see something funny, I'm going to have to share it with y'all. So we're riding through the neighborhood and we're in the back of a funeral home. And I have never seen this in my life until I just came back here. So you know how you get hurt <coughs> and the ambulance come and get you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something real cool. Now the ambulance come and get you so they can rush you to the hospital and save your life, right? Okay, I got a feeling that when this ambulance come, it's no hope for you. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm gonna get down here. It is the black ambulance. That's a I know. Your stuff is messed up when the black and gray ambulance come. That is messed up. There's no hope for you. It, you might as well, it's going to be some slow singing and flower bringing when the black ambulance show up. I don't, the nursing home. In the nursing home, anyway, that's sad. But no, that's the, the, the funeral home. It's real nice. That's ladies' funeral home. It's real nice. But anyway, I just had to share that with y'all, but that thing was funny to me. The black ambulance? That's like the death angel. Well, I guess you already dead. You already dead. You already dead. You might as well show up. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, don't let the black ambulance come get me. Call the prayer warriors together. <laughs> don't let the black ambulance. Beloved, <laughs> call the prayer warriors. Don't, don't let the black ambulance take me without a fight. <laughs> fight for me, mama. As you say, you better put it in writing. You better, yeah, you gotta put you on some power papers. That's what my family and I call power of attorney papers. We call them power papers. Because I got this thing, seriously. And my family know. That's why I'm not on nobody's power papers. Because I just believe. You are mine? No, you put Candace on your power papers. I'm not in charge I've of been, nothing. I've been trying to change that for the longest that the people don't exist no more. Oh, they went out of business. Oh, out of business. Your power people paper went out of business. Yeah, because, it, see, I'm going to tell you what I believe. You got three days. Go in the coma if you want to in my family and I'm on somebody's power papers. You got three days to get it back. Go have your conversation with the Lord. Ask him if you can come back because I'm waiting over there by the machine. And yes, it's going to come out the wall. Cause I just think you need to go in the glory. You don't need a suffering. Just go in and go to glory. I don't want to suffer. I just want to go in the glory. That ain't what you said. That must get bit you. Now, when I had West now, now I wasn't, I wasn't quite ready. My bags wasn't quite packed. You kept telling everybody, go to the light, go to the light. But when it came to you, shit. When I seen the light, I didn't, I wasn't ready. <laughs> and the doctor told me I'd have died that night had I not got to the hospital. I'd have died that night. And the baby from one of your friends, make you go. Yeah, the rent lady came in the house. The rent lady, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all this story real quick. I had moved to Salisbury and I had gotten sick. And I hadn't been in the apartment but a month and I was living there by myself. Um, I got really, really, really sick and I used to go fishing all the time. And that's when West Nile had kind of come out in that area. So we weren't real big on it. So, like I said, I got really, really sick and I got so sick in fact that I couldn't find the strength to even get out of bed. I got to where I had to crawl to the bathroom on my hands and knees. I was throwing up if I had something to throw up or gagging or, you know, and all that. I had tissues all over the bed. I was drinking bottles of uh, NyQuil because I had a friend of mine bringing me NyQuil just about every day. Yeah, I also used to believe it don't mind. If, it don't matter if your body don't mind. So I believed in mind over matter. But whatever I had was kicking my butt and my mind over matter routine was not working. All right, so... One day, the rent lady was knocking on the door, and I, I heard her, but I couldn't get up. I couldn't yell out. I couldn't say anything. I was real, real, real sick on my way to glory. Well, she came in the house, and I heard her calling my name, and this is after about a month I had been in the house, and nobody knew me there, but she came upstairs. She was calling me, but I was thinking, if you just keep on coming, you'll see me in here. Just keep on coming, and she was calling me and calling me and calling me. All the way till she got to my room. When she opened the room, when she opened the door, she had held her nose because my room stunk so bad and I was so sick. 
So she asked me, um, did I tell anybody that I was sick? Like on my emergency contact list or what did I call? I said, no, I, I haven't called anybody. I couldn't find my phone because I had actually, had actually lost my vision. It was very, very blurry and I couldn't really see anything. And I hadn't been eating, you know, just barely, I was just barely making it with just a little something when I could go down the stairs. Yeah, that, yeah, that is pretty. So she called my sister. My sister called this guy that, you know, was interested in me at the time and we eventually started dating, but she called him and she asked the rent lady actually went down to Charlotte, picked up my little sister and then they went over and picked up this other dude. So they came in the house and they took care of me and they would wake me up and they would feed me and, you know, give me soup and stuff because I couldn't eat any food. What is this? We can fish over here. What this is, is Lake Fisher, I believe, and you can fish in it, but it's $50 to fish in it and you can't keep the fish and you have to rent one of their trolling motors so it's no point of fishing there it's for $50 a release. yes after you pay your $50 you can't keep it alright so one day well a few days later I woke up and I, and I couldn't get the sheet off my face and I said I can't see I said what time is it and the muscle say you can't see the clock it's right there I said no I can't see the clock help me get this sheet off my face well, I didn't have a sheet on my face. I had gone blind. And so that's when they went ahead and took me to the hospital. And the doctor said that had I not come to the hospital, because I had a bad fever and everything, he said I wouldn't have made it through the night. He said, you should have been dead long before this. I'm going to tell you, God is good. He said, you should have been dead before this. He, he said, um, what, what were you taking? And actually, I had found some old antibiotics some old antibiotics of my ex-husband so when I moved I, I kept them you know you're not supposed to take other people's medicine let me say that but I took those antibiotics and it was only like a week's worth and the doctor actually told me that those antibiotics kind of kept me alive they kept the 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 virus from really just taking over or, or whatever just taking me out but um, he said I, I wouldn't have made it through the night so when I got to the hospital you know they did a spinal tap and I'm telling you, you're talking about some painful stuff, that spinal tap, when they when they go in and get that spinal fluid, I think they were checking for encephalitis, if I'm saying it right, encephalitis, see if I had brain swelling and all that. So after a while, I did get better, and um, so to this day, I can't stand a mosquito, I can't stand them. I did get bit earlier, I'm swollen, but I'll live, I will live. And no, I wasn't ready to go to glory then. I thought all this time, yeah, bring on the glory. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go to the glory. The Lord is waiting for you with open arms. But when he had his arms open for me, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That speech is good for everybody else. Not necessarily myself. So anyway, we're going to go head to Walmart and try to find this giant telephone cord. I think it's an Ethernet cord. It's not, is it an Ethernet cord? It's not a telephone cord. No, it looks like a giant. Right, but it looks like a... Gonna find it though. We're gonna see because we're going to Walmart on damn earth right now. So now we're going to Walmart and uh, we're gonna try to stay focused, try to go back there. Let, let's see what the Walmart employees really know in electronics. Let's see what they really know. All right, anyway, we're gonna go talk to y'all.